We are now. Oh, thank you guys. So sorry. I say off the record, and I thought it was meant it was recording because I glanced at it in the midst of a million other things. I apologize. Thank you, Robert. By the All way, right. got to get my checklist going there. I had it, but I skipped that part. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So you just peeked. You, so those on the replay, you're just peeking in right now. I do want to do a reset. I'm just going to do it real quick. And that's actually, we have people who just joined us too. So we are part of the Power Women of National Speakers Association. And these are women who are, you know, working with Fortune 100 and 500 companies uh, for ML MLM direct sales, speaking consultants, coaches. And we want to explore how do you leverage Periscope and Blab for your business as a speaker. We also have with us Pagin, who is in the comments right now. We also have amazing women speakers and business leaders from uh, Brian Fanzo, Robert Stern, Deb Coleman, uh, Linda Lee Larson. Uh, I believe we have Marilyn Sherman in the house with us, uh, Haley Foster. So, you know, that's just to name a few. So we have quite the community here um, that we are sharing these strategies with and also illustrating how to use it, how to leverage it. Ah, <laughs> you're welcome. All right, so um, we are gonna be covering these, these for specific strategies. And Gina, that's why I wanna make sure I acknowledge Gina. This is on Gina's account and she really helped talk about being a tribe builder. She helped build this amazing tribe of Power Women NSA that is the most incredible supportive community for us as women speakers. And by the way, what we're sharing with you today applies whether you're a man or a woman, and even whether you're a speaker or other aspects of business. Okay, but we're speaking to speaking here. Okay, so title is everything back to that about important tips. And you want to make your title stand out. And a way to do that is to have some emojis, relevant emojis. So it just makes it pop as they see the titles go by. You want to have search terms when it goes out into the Twitterverse or when people are sharing. That title is saying what it's about. It's your headline. Think about it like it's your speaking title. It's going to hook people. So that title is everything. Anything you want to say about that before we go to the next yeah, one? Yeah, uh, Christy Largent added a great point that uh, hashtags get you the best response and attendance on Periscope. You know, uh, we help different clients manage their social media. And even if they don't have many Twitter followers or Periscope followers, when we use the proper hashtags, uh, we can greatly increase the engagement and people finding that particular post. So hashtags, I say that's one of the absolute most important communication tools uh, of, our, of this time. Yes, absolutely. And you know, uh, one of my next tips I realized I actually didn't do. And I think it's because we were having <laughs> we were having issues with the microphone and the wind. And so then I, I, I got knocked off track and I didn't do this part. And I'll tell you what that tip is and then I'll actually share with you. So the next tip is establish credibility up front in one sentence, say who you are, what you do, and what today's broadcast is, and reset halfway through and at the end because people will pop in and out. And you do want to do it up top because people watch the replay, you're right there. But let's say they came in in the, in the middle, or let's say they found out about you towards the end, but at least they can be uh, relevant to what you're saying and know more about you. So I'll just share with you because a lot of people in NSA anyway, they know me as the one you know who opened the conference, the uh, national conference recently. And I, I'm hired to be the energizer bunny for conferences. I get people on fire, inspired, on their feet, and ready to take action. And that's what I do for conferences as a singer, as a speaker, as an MC, as an energizer. But my, most don't even know that behind the scenes, I've been playing in that world of training speaking from the inner game side of things, and then also supporting others in their marketing as a coach, speaker, or author, and helped create number one best-selling authors, help coaches fill their programs right away, get on TV shows, and just completely skyrocket their business. That's through my Launch You Now, and through my Wow Factor was the speaking training. So I've worked with about Fortune 500 companies, billion dollar CEOs, and entrepreneurs across the globe. So. Now, this is something that many don't necessarily know about me because that, that part I keep behind the scenes. So I want you to know that, yes, I'm an early adopter and I, I'm so passionate about Periscope and Blab that I just want to share with my community here, my community of speakers. I'm not trying to work towards selling you something, <laughs> you know, I want to share. But this comes from knowledge of marketing and knowledge of this way of engagement. And I'm in a marketing mastermind with the number one marketers in personal growth in the world. So I get to learn from them and, you know, inter integrate and collaborate with them. And we bring that to you. So I want you to know this is information that you know, has been cultivated. 
And we have my social fans here, which is Brian Fanzo and Robert Stern, who are leaders in the industry too, and they're popping in and sharing their um, well, their information as well. So let's see, we did talk about the reset, all right? And you wanna create community. Just like um, when you do a conference and they so appreciate when you make that speech, not just about listen to what I have to share to you, but when you make it interactive, when you really engage the audience, they love it. In fact, most, not, I guess there might be some that don't, but for most, that when you can even go into the audience, when you get them involved, right? That's creating a bond, that's creating connection, that's creating community. So you, especially here, you wanna create community. You welcome folks as they come in, you encourage to follow each other, you engage with their comments, right? Like we're doing here, and I'm doing my best here. I'm kind of navigating and handling <laughs> several things at once. And if need be, I'll go back and, and scroll through. And plus Gina here, is helping uh, uh, pay attention to comments. We want to make sure that we don't let just pass by. Is there anything we want to make sure we acknowledge? Speaking of which, as we're on well, the there are several questions that have been coming in, and I know some people are going to want to pop in. And let's make this a little more interactive. I, I know you have you could write you could probably teach hours and hours on this. And and let's just tell people that she is going to have an overflow blab after this one at 115 and you get to that by blab.im slash Lynn Rose. So you'll be able to go into even more detail. But what we'd hope to do in this session is to cover some of the big points, the big strategy points, give you some great content, some great tips, which certainly Lynn is doing. Uh, we want to bring Peggy back in and we want to bring in uh, people who are interested in popping in and asking their questions live. Um, one question that Deb Coman writing said, uh, I don't know if it's still true, but people were saying, make sure all other windows are closed when on Blab, not just real windows, but maybe she has some other things open on her computer. That was back to Pegine's wind issue. So this, oh. Pegine, if you're listening, then then you might take that back in. So why don't we teach a little bit more, bring some people in, bring Pegine back in, and um, let's go from there. That's great. Oh, and hi to Bob Donnell and Tech Bloke. Oh, how awesome you guys are here. And uh, we had someone asking some technology questions. Maybe I, social fans, or Robert Stern can address that. Because I do want to get to at least some some uh, foundational um, strategy and, and meet so that when you come on with questions or interact, you know, you've got that as a foundation to refer to. Okay, so another thing, when you do your broadcast, always have a decided purpose for your broadcast, even if it's for fun. Like two of our big speakers here in NSA are now doing uh, what they call the virtual laugh bar on Sundays at 7 p.m. Eastern. They're hysterical. Definitely check them out. If they're in the room, post your uh, blab so they can go check you guys out, okay? <laughs> um, and they know that that is for fun, but they have a very specific purpose. And part of what they do is they're humorous, motivational speakers along with great content they give. So they get to show that humor side. But you might want to have something like what Pegeen does. And when we bring Pegeen on, she can share you know, the strategy that she's been taking. And she and I even talked about some strategy ideas for her. We kind of brainstormed with her and she might share about that. Um, but you might have a, a decide that you have a point you want to make, one of your nuggets of wisdom. And you're going to share about that and be in conversation with the Periscope and uh, Blab audience around it. OK, maybe it's to really illustrate your expertise and how you would coach people if you're a coach or a consultant. So then you pose this uh, question or problem and you give your distinctions and now you invite people in and be. Oh, thank you very much, Rachel. <laughs> and then you bring people in and be able to interact with them and support them and show your expertise in action. Uh, so we can talk more about that, but I'm just giving you an example of some purposes you could use for your broadcast. And very good to have notes because it's very easy to get knocked off track and go, where was I and what did I make sure I needed to cover? Because it's very interactive. It's very ADD if you don't notice already, okay? And you want to be engaging and entertaining so you create value and connection. That entertainment, that connection factor is so important. And like we said, be yourself, okay? So important, uh, I, I can get back to how to be engaging. We can come to that later because we're speakers. We should know that if you don't already. And then we've got some specific strategies. Um, I'll just mention a couple and then we can come to some others so that we can bring Pegeen on and bring others on to 
interact with, okay? But I do have a number here. <laughs> so in growing your following, if you go on other people's periscopes and blabs and interact with supportive, meaningful comments and go onto the periscope or blabs that are within your world, your zone, your lane, what you want more of or what it is in your arena of content or focus, okay? And when you do and you have these uh, meaningful comments like you're doing here, people will take notice of you and then they'll start following you. But also you're being supportive and you're giving and you may be learning, just like Brian's always learning and going to other people's, so I've learned so much by going on other people's scopes and labs as well. So that's a really great strategy to both learn and to grow. Um, in, uh, interact with each other's comments, uh, which we talked about. Uh, let's see, in your profile, you want to have your website. And don't put a bit.ly link, don't put HTTP, put www. Okay, if, so if you disagree with me on that, Brian or Robert, then let me know. But uh, uh, people are used to seeing www. and then being able to um, translate that. So if you reference your site, then and then they're trying to figure it out with a bit.ly link. It's, that's too much to have. You go get a domain if you need to, but then points to a bit.ly link. But you should have your own website and have that in your profile so that people can always find you beyond these platforms. You want to leverage beyond these platforms, right? Okay. Uh, for Blab, you want to pre-schedule your Blabs. And as we said, use searchable tags with a good title. Uh, always ask for the follow because people just need to be reminded. And I'll remind again. If there's a white square next to my name or Gina's, click on that and then you'll be following us and follow each other. Just hover your mouse over those little faces you see above us or below us if you're on your phone. And then you'll be able to see their profiles and be able to follow, but ask for the follow, ask for the tweeting out and to retweet. Now we could do this right now, we're not going to, but we could change the title of this blab right now in the middle of the, of the blab and then ask you to tweet it out again. That's a great way to like, leverage all the more getting the word out okay all right so specific strategies is bring someone on in hot seats let's say you're going to coach around your expertise and uh, whatever that might be let's say liz green uh, was on with pegin the other day and it was just brilliant i only watched half of it but about the real business of speaking and things to be aware of and talking to future clients about your roi and things like that so she could then have a session on blab where she's going to bring people into uh, coach in these hot seats and show her expertise in her consulting. Maybe she would do that for um, in her CEO clients that she consults in businesses and consult around that. But she gets to really see it in action. Another is to bring on real life case studies of people you've worked with or client, celebrate them, talk about their success and who they are. But as you do, it's now showcasing you and celebrating what you do, right? Um, now you can share your top three or top 10 tips but move through them fast and then send them to your site for a downloadable handout or free offering that goes deeper. So now you're being able to move them into your world and into, into your opt-in list and into your community. And I say opt-in list sounds bad, but you know what I mean, being able to create that community so you can be able to stay in communication with them. All yeah, right. If I could just jump in quickly on that point, I think that's one of the most important things. Um, I, there are some things I love about Blab, some things I'm not crazy about Blab, one of the things I'm not crazy about Blab is that you don't capture the email addresses, so it is harder to stay in touch with people. And while email is not as good as it used to be, it's still absolutely critical for nurturing that relationship and staying in touch with people. So I love that you know, you're talking about the call to action. What can they do to go get a strategy session or do a survey or get your free report? That ethical bribe so that you get exchanged for the email address. I think that's absolutely critical. That's great. What is your what is your site where you have a free offering, Gina? Uh, well, I have ginacar.com and on there, ginacar.com slash strategy session. People can get the strategy session. There's a strategy tab. And so that's one way that I really love to work with people. Uh, at the top of my, I have another opt-in at the top of my website for two free chapters of my book, Clout Matters. So those are the two main opt-ins I'm driving people to right now. So I just showed by put your site in there, ginacar.com. In Blab, you can put your site in as you're going along and say, if you go right there, like let's say you did a Blab around clout, and you say, you go right there to ginacar.com, you're going to get the, the two chapters on clout or whatever it was that you said, you know, clout matters, right? So you'd be able to drive them that way. Now, driving to a strategy session is brilliant. I've seen people do this on Periscope and on Blab. This is one of the, I think, hottest strategies 
where a coach had only a handful of people on her periscope. And she was talk, um, taking their question and then coaching them on that question. But she could only go so far and go so deep. And plus, it might be personal. And she said if they wanted more, then they could arrange for um, a session. And she ended up booking that coaching client for like a $2,000 package at that time. You know, out of just that one, it only had four people on that Periscope. But because she was so interactive and showed her knowledge and her engagement, it, it illustrated what she mm. can do. Um, I've also I've also seen, uh, I, I think we could do that as speakers. We bring someone on and as they see how we interact with them and consult, we can say, drive them, as you just talked about, a strategy session to that strategy session and explore more. And that way it's always free. You don't have to be selling something. Now, I've seen people sell something. Kim Garst, who's another one to follow, who's amazing. She made five figures in 20 minutes on Periscope. She's very intentional and she does even webinars on Periscope. So there's such an opportunity here for us, especially as we discover and learn for ourselves what way works for us, what way works for our market and uh, what way we want to use it. So Pegeen, I've been talking, talking, talking. I know we want to have you talk and then bring some So in. first, thank you. Can you hear me all right now? Please tell me yes. Yes. So we switched, we yes, switched yes. computers and we're here. So thank you for being so exciting to be here. So uh, I just want to talk a couple of things about what you suggested and how I'm finding um, this working for me and for the business and for what we do. So you talked about the target market and what your market is. One of the things that I can absolutely say, and I was sharing with Gina earlier today that we've seen, um, my team and I have seen our numbers increase dramatically when we started using this. And that was being very clear in our hashtags, specific to the markets that we work with and we know well. Mm. And so for us, it's MLM, direct sales, and we use these as hashtags. Um, I'm like I said, I was sharing on I'm doing this 90 day periscope. The difference is unbelievable when we've started increase using very targeted hashtags, very targeted programs, very targeted uh, connections. So that's um, number one, huge transformation. Two is consistency. If you're not on consistent consistently, if you're not willing to be on consistently, if you're not De determined, dedicated, it's not happening. It doesn't matter what's happening in your life. If you are not going to be on, don't play. Because the reality is that people are looking to trust you. And they're looking to trust you by you showing up when you say you're going to show up. They're looking, they're, it's okay with me that they schedule. And Randy, Randy Gage, some of you know, Randy is consistent no matter what. And you know, I'm grateful that I've had him as and have him as my coach. Consistency is key. So there's just tons of people and people all rushing to get on his periscope. We're not at the point where they're rushing to get on mine, but dang, today we, <laughs> we were getting them going on. They're showing up and that's awesome and great. Um, so consistency is really important about building the trust. The third thing is to have a real strategic plan about why are you doing this? Why are you playing in this field? Why, how are you ensuring that you're resonating with the people that you're working with so that you really are giving them what they need in the way that they want it? And I'll show you, um, let me just show you something. So one of the things, this is my PowerPoint of left. Um, that I learned from doing the, the blabs and the periscopes is that I will always give a one, two, three, four, give, you know, I write it out in the morning. This is what we're talking about. That's the same. It relevates. It resonates back to the title. People are now trained to bring in a piece of paper. I post this. So when they're on periscope, you know, when you're first setting up and it's turned the other way, now I post this on the wall. So people are already seeing, this is what we're going to talk about. Let's talk about the numbers. Then I encourage them. Now, I will have then my notes, one, two, three, four, because, yes, you're right, 100% right, Lynn, that it is so easy to get, Ooh, let's talk about this, let's talk about that. And So this way I'm following along, and then I can refer to it at the end. 
always asking for somebody to be my scribe, always asking somebody to write the notes, always asking and learning to shut up. <laughs> the, the challenge with the shutting up is not so much because we're talking a lot, but we may ask a question. There's that little delay that happens. And so it's called the face of waiting. <laughs> and you know while you're doing this, you feel like an idiot. But you're giving people a chance to share, a chance to write, and a chance to, to be active with you. So those are my three really core points. The other, all right, I'll say one more. Can I top right, right there? I don't know if you're doing this or not. Yes. Again. But that's awesome what you showed and you're even showing what those points are and they want that, they're hungry for that information and they can take their own notes. But you can also send them to your site to download the, the handout. Let me tell you something. To download. I'm so busy. This is what the handout is going to look like because it's not going to look pretty. I'll scan it now. And this is it, you know, I, I like that idea, but, and I never thought about scanning it until just now, Miss Lynn Rose. You can even just, that. you can even just take a picture, take a picture and put it as a JPEG up on a free Google doc. It's so simple. Yeah. Um, thank you. I'm loving that. <laughs> um, I, hey, hey, Christy, thank Christy Lar Larjant, Larjant, I'm not sure how to pronounce her name, but Christy, thank you. She has a great uh, question for Pegeen, and I'm sure Lynn can chime in on this too. Can you give some examples of being super targeted with hashtags? Elaborate, please. Oh, great. Okay. So my, my core, the people that pay me to play with me, are women leaders who are making six figures or above in MLM, direct sales, uh, corporate manufacturing. Those are women that are looking to move higher up rank, looking to increase their profits, also looking for passive income, looking for ways to grow their businesses, grow their teams, grow their people, and the men that want them to be rock stars. So I'm very specific about that, and we're actually going to start, I'm going to be playing with doing it in Spanish too because I work, some of my people are both English and Spanish speakers, so I, you know, I'm global. And so we're gonna look at doing that, which is gonna be hysterical. I mean, you're really gonna need drinks when you start hearing me do my Spanish. But I, so when we're talking very specific, I always am extraordinarily specific. I have it, I'm working from my home office today, but at my other office, we have on our wall who our target is. I know how much she earns. I know about her relationships. I know who, where she works. I know the activities that she likes to be in. I know the, the fears. I know the concerns. I know the hopes and the dreams. And so when I'm writing my titles, it's about ensuring that she gets that this is resonating with her. I also have a huge, so I have, um, because it's so targeted for me, you know, our sales, you know, you know, we, we go from the 2,777 up to, you know, a lot more than that. <laughs> and, you know, we, our, our largest coaching client has been up to a hundred thousand dollars. So we're, we're very targeted about that. So that's what I mean when you're talking about targeted information, do you know your person and are you going to be speaking to whoever it is? It, if you're doing everybody, you're going to get nobody. If you do even a little bit of everybody, you're going to get a little people that are going to check you out, but they're not going to invest in you. That's my point of view. You know what? Could do you, um, and maybe you do this already, but I just want to bring this up for other people to be aware of. You know your target market, right? So if you go into Periscope, and you put in that search term, the different search terms you know that are relevant to your target market, up will come people's profiles or names that have that search term in it, and you could follow them, and then actually go inside their scopes and learn even more about them, what makes them tick, what are they looking for, but also interact and have them Absolutely. learn about you. And that is what, I mean, I've been on Twitter now for very several years, and while my numbers aren't huge, um, or, you know, they're not millions. I'm okay with that. My one website 
it's, people have heard it. My Team Piggy Insight is targeted for 40 CEOs of global corporations who are looking to do this and want to invest a certain amount of money in me. I'm not interested in the world. I'm interested in the people that will invest in what I bring to them and they're looking for me and I'm looking for them. I'm having a love fest and I don't want every Tom, Dick and Harry. I just want the right Bob. <laughs> brilliant absolutely brilliant marketing okay guys we're almost to the hour i promised we'd be bringing some people in and i know there's going to be a follow-up blab to this um and we could go just a little bit past the you know one o'clock but let's bring in let's see if we can get in two or three people with some rapid fire questions and some rapid fire answers okay as we have opened the seat and you're get getting someone on, let me just talk through a couple other strategies just in case that's something to um, echo back to, okay? So if you have a chapter from a book you've written, right? So you could be reading through the book, show the book, and I don't have the book in front of me right now. It'd be nice if I did, <laughs> but show the book and you know, even say, here are the chapters here. We're going to read from this chapter. Or I'm going to share with you these three things, tips, distinctions from this chapter. Talk through it. And then you can send them to your site to download that chapter or to buy your book. Um, you can also be showing an upcoming email that you're going to be sending out and what you're going to be sharing in that email and then tell them where they can get it so they can get on your resource list, sending them to your opt-in. So I think those are really key things that get them engaged and involved. You can talk them through your site, show your site, just kind of uh, kind of way you do a tutorial about what your site offers, what you're about, what you give and what you offer people. And so it actually converts. I saw someone do that and they actually got um, a, a client for many thousands of dollars just from talking through their site. And then they, that was what people got to see. And then they clicked with that and she got that client from that. And uh, Pigging was right on, have a set time every week around your topic. I'm learning to do that. It's definitely hard when we're speakers and our schedule's constantly shifting and changing, <laughs> but I'm learning to do that. Also interview experts and position yourself among them through your featuring them. And their following becomes aware of you now, right? So uh, also it just elevates your credibility as well. Okay, so do we have anyone who's gonna jump in this seat and ask a question or maybe tell us what your business is and what your arena, your focus is, and we can strategize with you almost like a hot seat. Or you might have a question you just wanna get on the video, which by the way in Blab, when you're on people's Blabs, do get on those video seats interact have meaningful questions or comments or interaction even if it's fun because that's another way to grow your following and the awareness and Pagin, i heard you talk about you were on someone's lab that was talking about um invest they were investors oh, yeah and talk about that but so the, here's one of the greatest gifts of us as speakers and us as well there's a lot of guys here too but really us about women is if you go on to blabs you go into blabs and you, there's a whole bunch of techie gurus observing what's happening in blab they're checking it out they're seeing it they're they're pondering it they're talking about it and and so yesterday there were four three guys on there doing this very boring discussion so let's talk about this and yes let's talk about that and they were talking about getting um venture capital one that had just gotten uh two million and one that was looking for some more millions and they were just having this conversation their demeanor was not going to help them get the money that they wanted to get their ability to so so i just jumped into open sea and said listen i do coaching for women who are going seeking venture capital and i could help you in two seconds just tell, seeing how you guys are presenting because venture capitalists are watching you right now and if you are not presenting yourself as confident, competent, and really excited about what you're doing, they're not gonna, they don't wanna work with you. So, okay, hey, Paul. Good Hi. point, Piggy. Can you hear me okay? Yes, hello, Paul, thank you. Yeah, you sound uh, good. Did you have a rapid fire question for us? I don't have a rapid fire question, but I thought I would just jump in and step out of my comfort zone a little bit. So. That's why I'm here. I actually had somebody who invited me to be a guest speaker on a blab, and it was my very first time doing it. And I can see how addicting this can be. So um, <laughs> I just wanted to jump in and, and uh, just introduce myself and, and say, you know, you guys are sharing, you women, sorry, are sharing a lot of amazing value here. Um, and I'm learning so much from you. So I really appreciate, you know, you giving your time 
and sharing what you have to share today. Um, myself, I like helping other entrepreneurs grow their businesses by you know serving them and helping them do whatever I can to help them reach their dreams and goals and things like that. Uh, about six weeks ago, I was invited up on a, on a stage at my leadership conference and uh, because I've had this dream in my head since I was a kid about being on a stage motivating hundreds of people and that dream came true. And so it's uh, that leader that's been pushed deep down inside of me has been unleashed. So I'm learning as much as I can, putting myself out there as much as I can, trying to get as much information on how I can help other people and motivate them um, to help them change their lives. So that's hey, why Paul, I jumped out. Hey, Paul, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Can I ask you a question, Paul? Yes. So you just did something that I want to just point out because we have a lot of women that are following us and you just jumped up. You really didn't care about anything that was happening behind you or if you had your right earrings on or any of that. Is that correct? Correct. And that you just said, I'm going to do it. I'm going to jump in and I really don't care because I'm just testing out. Is that correct? Absolutely. So did it matter? Can I ask you a question? Does it really matter if I am six foot four and 120 pounds or if I'm five foot three and 300 pounds because the information is what matters? Absolutely. It does not matter at all. You just got to step out of your comfort zone and just do it. So I thank you that because I just wanted to be able to tell those people that are saying, well, I'm not ready. I'm not puffy enough. I'm not this enough. So thank you for doing that. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, you know, uh, uh, Lynn Rose does a lot of hers with no makeup, baseball cap, and I'm like, oh my God, she's so beautiful with or without makeup. And I, I thought that was really bold. And Lynn, you know, just gotta compliment you that you really have led the way and inspired a lot of us to get on there, get out of our comfort zone, exactly like Paul said, and, you know, take the next step and just try it. Yeah, gotta just hop on that horse, that's you know? Good. Otherwise you'll never well, know. The only right? way you get over your the only way well, you get over your challenges is by facing them. And so when you face them, it might be a little bit hard to do it first, but when you actually do them, it's a lot easier. But so many people are, are so afraid of taking that step because they care about what other people think or how people judge them or look at them and, you know, don't care about that stuff. Just be yourself, you know, and people, People will like you or they won't. And the people that don't like you, who cares? <laughs> exactly. And, and also, I'm, I'm in these platforms. Oh, okay. Thanks, Piggy. Well, and, and in these platforms, people can smell when you're putting on a specter of watch me be an expert or watch how smart I am. You know, and so it, it weeds out that kind of approach. We want to feel you. Hey, Sylvia. Hello, can you hear us? It oh, looks like her looks screen lovely. froze up. So Sylvia, you might want to zap out. And, oh, there you are. Okay. Hi, everyone. I hope you hear me well since I came in. Very interesting. Uh, just for education purposes, I'm seeing as the host, I don't know if you guys are seeing this, but at the bottom of her um, frame, it says poor internet yeah. signal. So. Uh, Sylvia, I know she was she was concerned okay. about the hair I, and the makeup, but okay, audio only, great. Can hear Sylvia, are you there? Still? Okay, she might have clicked X. I was gonna say because we could hear her, so she could still ask a question, but now we don't hear her. <laughs> She's like, I'm, I'm out of here. All right. Uh, so if someone did ask a question, is uh, Blab or Periscope a better place to share about your new book? Hashtag be the exception. Um, and let me address that, and certainly anyone here can uh, join in the conversation around that. But I think it's both. I think you could get into a conversation around what your chapter of your book or your book is about with others, and it's going to show that you know interest of, of other people and even hear reflective ideas from them. And on Periscope, you get to really, you're the one driving because it's just you. Shown. I know Andy's trying. There she is. Um, and just finish, I'll finish the question, and then we'll say hello to Annie and um, but then you're the one driving it so in a way you almost have a little bit more control on Periscope because it's just you there you don't get to have as much interaction as far as live like we are right here but with the chat you can be getting your feedback from there you get brilliant comments brilliant um, you know feedback from your audience as you're sharing about your book 
and you can still either way send them to where you want to send them. Now it is easier to send them to the site or the call to action you want to, whether that's giving away a chapter of your book or the handout of the, what you talked about on Blab, because that's a clickable link that people can click while they're in the chat. It opens a separate window, and yet they can still stay in the Blab. So anyway, let, we got to welcome Annie and Eileen. Yes, thank you. thank you so much for being here. This is wonderful. We do want to wrap it up within the next five to ten minutes. Uh, so let's hear from Annie. You were here first. Uh, thank you for jumping on. And what's what's your question? Thank you, Gina. Actually, you guys just answered, and I'm the one with the book coming out soon. And so I was wondering, Blab or Periscope? And then you said we didn't have to have our hair done, and I just got home from a run. So I thought, okay, I'm jumping on just to say hi. Yeah, I'd like to add to that. I think one of the best things you can do for your book launches these days is to create a Facebook discussion, uh, Facebook group where it's a book discussion group. That would be one that's more of a public kind of group. And then also create a private Facebook group that is for um, just your super fans. It might be only 100 people that are really going to help you. And so I would use the Blab and the Periscope with a call to action each of those times to say, hey, join in our community the behind the scenes community in the Facebook group. And I'd even go get a URL for the Facebook group. Like I'd have anniesgreatbook.com and I'd redirect that okay. to the Facebook URL to make it easy. So okay. that's a book marketing tip okay. 101 here. I love helping authors launch their books. I know you do too, Lynn. I do a little different part of it than, than what you do. Like you get the content ready and get them branded. And I focus more on the uh, getting the message out in the world. I think that's sort of how we break things down, right? Look at the lining forces, girl. Because when I'm through with what I work with, the book, yeah. I hand them to you. Let's talk about that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, thank you so much. And thank you for the group, you guys. Thank, thank you so much. All right. Eileen. Depending, I was just going to say, depending on the book, to wrap up that point, you could also have um, a 30 day challenge that talks through the four pieces of the book and what they want to accomplish in those 30 days, that's the promise of the book. And you're gonna then create a bunch of testimonials. They're gonna be sharing about what's going on in that 30 day challenge. I recommend to make it free because it's a wonderful way to get the word out because it's a free challenge and they wanna share. And you can have a contest for who shares the most, gets a free session with you, whatever it might be. But it's a wonderful way to also promote. And then eventually you build up to where you then sell it. That's Great challenge. idea. Okay. Eileen. So I'm the one that's going to admit to my um, stupidity, and I would really love to have a clear distinction between Periscope and Blab. Got it. Okay. Um, do you want to take You go it? ahead. You're no. the queen. <laughs> well, we're all queens, and we're all learning, too. Um, so Periscope is through phone, and Blab can be through phone or computer live. Periscope, I don't believe you can do live on your computer yet. Oh, you can do replays. Um, on Periscope, it's just going to see right. you or what you're showing talking. It's not another window to bring somebody else in. And then there's comments. I don't know if you guys, if you are watching here on the Periscope, I'm Periscoping right now. This is my phone. If they can do comments, I'll show you comments, but I, they might be having me in the background at this rate. Um, and usually Periscope, you, you want to be interactive. I, this one, I, I do Periscope my blabs because it gets caught at catch.me and I have a record of all these different things that we Periscope. A Periscope is going to be more intimate. You talking, you sharing your your life, you sharing you at um, National Speakers Association and talking to certain people that are in your industry. Uh, you, someone showing you when you're on stage and or when you're sharing your content and then taking their questions and interacting with them and still driving them where you want to drive them or whatever call to action. The lab is more interactive and collaborative. It's built to be collaborative. So Blab, you can come on and start sharing your content. I recommend that you have someone with you that's like Gina, let's say, and the support and sharing the comments and helping things to flow. But then have someone that you interview or leave it open to have some hop onto the video seat and interact, bring up their question to life. Like you did, you, I loved the blab you did with Benin. And I would have loved to have come in and said, let me be one of your guinea pigs. Let me bring my situation and you can work with me on some of those points of my situation as a speaker in the industry and, and you know, in corporate and what we want to be aware of, right? So, so, that's so what you Periscope, though, only lasts one, 24 hours and then it disappears. Is that right? 
it will be it it will disappear on Periscope. However, Me, which begins with a K, when you go and um, sign in with your Periscope slash Twitter name, it then saves them all for you know. My in, side in, on my side or on Periscope site. Catch dot me. Tagine just wrote there in the chat. Okay. In the comments. Okay. And laugh, and laugh lasts forever, and people can replay it forever. But you can only do either of those two if you have a Twitter account. If you don't have a Twitter account, you're dead in the water. Not true. You can you can do um, Periscope without a Twitter account. But here's what I would recommend: even if you do nothing on Twitter, create no, a I Twitter have one account to invite people in. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, they no, they can come without Twitter okay. account. Yeah, they can come. They can do what they call a um, a lurk mode on Blab, so they aren't signing in with Twitter. And um, on on Periscope, they can sign in with their uh, mobile phone. They don't have to use okay. a Twitter account. I recommend to people get yourself a Twitter account, whether you use it or not. Now, I'll tell you what, you'll start watching it grow if you actually interact with Periscope and Blab. It's just been growing by itself. Because of Thank the you. Yeah, and, and just to take that one step further, Eileen, uh, you know, there's still plenty of room in this world and a need for more private venues like Zoom, like Webinar Jam Studio, like GoToWebinar or GoToMeeting. Um, you know, so those are maybe better for, you know, this is really public. You know, you can't stop anybody from watching this. Uh, the other venues can be a little bit more private. So after someone's already bought your program or you want something that's a little more private, you could put them into those sorts of platforms. And that's uh, the one that I like best is Webinar Jam Studio. I'm going to share my little affiliate link there on that. But it's also Webinar Jam Studio is also good for the marketing piece and the buying piece, maybe better than Blab. But Blab, you're going to bring in all these people that didn't even know you, never even heard about you. You're going to really expand your audience. So it's the big funnel, the top of the funnel, then maybe the smaller funnel, Webinar Jam Studio, then maybe Webinar Jam Studio for creating and dispersing your content. And we do have a couple more people. Gosh, I don't know what to do. It's almost 10 thank after. You. Thank you, Eileen. Thank you. Thank you. Well, and Eileen, you can do Periscope and a private Periscope. So you can go through and decide who you would. Uh, scope it to and make it private. So you can okay, thank okay. you so much. And I didn't know that. Terrific. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I agree. I would love to see them make Blab have the offering to decide to have a private private. I'm going to go off but so that you they can don't bring it up. Another... Right. And I, I think you wanted to wrap it up, Gina, and we move to the other Blab, or did you want to take one more Wow. Person? I think we should wrap it up just to be courteous to people and respect their time. And I know you've got your other one. You've got to start at 1.15 and people are expecting you there. So Lynn, final words. I just, by the way, I meant to write in blab.im forward slash Lynn Rose and I wrote my site. <laughs> Sorry. I, I, you can get free songs and a whole, uh, a whole bunch of part of my book there and all this. Sorry, a truck went by. But no, if you go to blab.im forward slash Lynn Rose, click on that now. It'll come up as a separate page, and you're still staying in the Blab as we get to um, move you to that overflow where we're going to be um, taking in hot seats and working with you specifically on your questions and also specific strategies for you and even share some more strategies, some that we didn't get to, okay? Um, I do think we, we need to follow our own advice, which is to do the reset button at the end. Okay. Okay. So... Make sure that you are following Gina because she does these valuable Power Women NSA blabs. God bless Gina. And she is such a big one to follow. And I, I, will, I had you up here for me to read here. She is a 22-year serial entrepreneur and known as the tribe builder, co-author of the McGraw-Hill social media book, Clout Matters, and absolutely brilliant at supporting um, speakers, authors, and coaches. And so you want to make sure to be following Gina here. Also, follow me, please, because they're also going to follow into the other Blab room to continue this. And I, I, I support people in front of and behind the scenes. So I get hired to, for companies to be the Energizer Bunny to get them on fire, inspired, and ready to take action. And also, I support speakers, authors, coaches, and entrepreneurs on launching and skyrocketing their business. All right. So we're going to see you on the other Blab Um if you've missed some of this, definitely watch the replay. We covered so much that to try to go back through it would probably take another 15 minutes. So <laughs> this isn't just like three tips well, we shared here. Otherwise, 
Absolutely. Reset, but... Thank you. Uh, Pegeen was here earlier and contributed so much information. Thank you, Pegeen. Yes. Thank you, Lynn Rose. Give her some final props there with the with the cl little clapping hands. And thank you so much to our audience. You guys were just wonderful with the comments. I'm sorry we couldn't get to everybody, but you know we're learning and we're trying to filter the comments and the questions and interact and participate. And thank you all of you guys who popped in there. Annie, Eileen, Paul, uh, several others, and some of you who were waiting. Sorry we couldn't get to you, but you guys were great. And we will see you at a Power Women NSA virtual event again next week, soon to be announced, and something hot coming up the very next week too. So you guys, thanks a bunch. All right, see you at the other lab, and thank you, oh, Gina. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Bye bye.